हेलो स्टूडेंट्स ऑलरेडी वी हैव परफॉर्म्ड फिगर ऑफ मेरिट ऑफ गैलवेनोमीटर ऑन द सेम एक्सपेरिमेंट वी हैव द सेकेंड एक्सपेरिमेंट दैट इज होल्ट मीटर सो हियर एम ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू कन्वर्ट द गी वन गैलवेनोमीटर इन टू होल्ट मीटर ऑफ द रिक्वायर्ड रेंज एंड वेरीफाई द सेम यू विल कन्वर्ट गैलवेनोमीटर इन टू होल्ट मीटर एपरेटस पॉइंटर गैलवेनोमीटर बैटरी होल्ट मीटर रजिस्टेंस बॉक्स की एंड रेओस्टेट दीज आर द एपरेटस वी आर गोइंग टू यूज टू परफॉर्म दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट प्रिंसिपल गैलवेनोमीटर कैन बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू होल्ट मीटर बाई कनेक्टिंग सुटेबल हाई रजिस्टेंस इन सीरीज नेक्स्ट इन सीरीज वी कनेक्ट हियर फॉर्मूला आई जी इज इक्वल्स टू यन इन टू के यन means what number of divisions on either side of the galvanometer i will tell you how many divisions k is figure of merit of the galvanometer the value of k we will take from the last experiment already we have done a uh, done figure of merit of galvanometer experiment now high resistance to be connected in series can be calculated by using the formula r is equals to v divided by i z minus capital z V is range of converted galvanometer, and Z is galvanometer resistance. Now, here the value of the calculated series resistance and the value of the observed series resistance. Very simple experiment we have. Now, this is the circuit. I travel from the negative terminal to plug key. This other end of the plug key is connected to lower terminal of the rheostat. now i come to the upper terminal from the upper terminal i take two wires one wire goes to resistance box and other wire goes to negative of the voltmeter now i come to this end of the voltmeter from here i take three wires one wire goes to galvanometer one wire goes to this low other lower end of the rheostat reverse, reverse and another one wire goes to positive terminal of the battery now here this galvanometer are resistance uh, galvanometer and resistance box is connected now this galvanometer and resistance are in series you know the series combination now here galvanometer resistance already in a figure of merit we have calculated the galvanometer resistance and i got the value 100 ohm this is the value of our galvanometer resistance now figure of merit of the galvanometer in the last experiment is 15 into 10 raised to minus 6 15 into 10 raised to minus 6 now number of divisions on either side of zero of the galvanometer scale so you have this is the galvanometer here you have zero here you have 30 divisions and here you have 30 on either side means one side of the galvanometer this side you have 30 this side you have 30 one side you have 30 so therefore you will write here 30 30 divisions now current required for full scale deflection that is uh, equals to iz is equals to n into k so this n into k that calculation iz is equals to n into k so n is equals to 30 into k k is 15 into 10 raised to minus 6 so that is equals to 15 threes are 45 this zero into 10 raised to minus 6 so that is equals to 4 50 into 10 raised to minus 6 this is the iz value now range of converted galvanometer to volt meter now look at here how to fill this value so this is the volt meter now just check what is the last value here 3 this is the last value that is 3 so that 3 you will write here okay and now you will fill this value by performing the calculation now 
will fill this value r is equals to v divided by i z minus z v is equals to 3 i z already we have calculated here that is 4 5 0 into 10 is to minus 6 minus minus z z value is here that is 100 so now here r is equals to 3 this 10 raised to minus 6 i take to the numerator so 10 raised to plus 6 by following law of indices so 3 into 10 raised to plus 6 divided by 450 as it is minus 100 10 raised to plus 6 means you will get like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 divided by 4 5 0 if you simplify this you will get 6 6 6 6 minus 100 so final answer 6566 ohm means what is the meaning of this you will convert this galvanometer this galvanometer will work as a voltmeter this galvanometer will work as a voltmeter at what value of resistance 656566 at this value if you connect this resistance in series combination with a galvanometer this galvanometer will be converted into voltmeter this is the experiment so already we have seen the circuit diagram so this negative terminal is connected to plug key so this is the negative terminal this is the negative terminal that i have connected to plug key this is the plug key from the plug key you will connect to the lower end of the rheostat this is the lower end now i come to the upper terminal from the upper terminal i take two wires one is connected to resistance box and another one is connected to negative of the voltmeter so i have taken two wires two wires here this one wire goes to resistance box and this one wire goes to negative of the voltmeter now finally i take three wires from the positive terminal of the voltmeter one goes to galvanometer one goes to lower end of the rheostat and one goes to positive terminal of the battery so three wires i take it from here so one wire goes to lower end of the rheostat this other terminal next other wire goes to positive terminal of the battery and next wire goes to negative of the or positive of the galvanometer simply you say galvanometer and from the galvanometer last connection is what uh, galvanometer to resistance box now i take the reading here so before here you have the value this value 6566 this is the theoretical value calculated means theoretical you will write this value 6566 now whatever the value you will get after performing the experiment that value must be near to this value now we'll check and at that value galvanometer must be converted into voltmeter now i am getting the readings here now just look at here one side deflection we have taken 30 and here total you have 60 means one division from the galvanometer corresponds to two divisions in the voltmeter one division from the galvanometer corresponds to two divisions in the voltmeter okay now i just adjust the rheostat at a particular voltage that is 0.25 here okay now i go on removing the resistors so 5000 i go near to that value 5600 and 70 I have written 5670 okay look at here this is 5000 this is 1000 that is what 6000 this is 5000 means 6500 again I remove 100 here that is 5000 six, uh, sorry 6650 and this 20 means total 5000 sorry 6670 okay now add this resistance now just look at here here you have zero here four divisions you are getting 
here how many divisions you are getting four divisions i told you one division from the galvanometer corresponds to two divisions means in the voltmeter you should get eight divisions now i check here four divisions here you are getting eight divisions now just check here you are getting eight divisions here okay this means that this galvanometer is working as a voltmeter at what resistance at this resistance okay so therefore the value is what now i write the value here practical value is what 6670 okay so 6566 6670 this is near to each other so the readings are correct okay so therefore this is the result of this experiment only thing is what if you are getting the minute difference of 100 ohm it is tolerable so 6566 this is theoretical 6670 that is practical value okay so this is the very simple experiment that is conversion of galvanometer to voltmeter okay thank you